Kiss Commanders, my name is Eagle, and today we're back again with another Kiss of War video. In this video, there's something special for you guys, it's the new overlay. So if you like this new overlay, please make sure to leave a comment about that, as we are improving the channel day by day with your support, so that we can upload daily content with high quality of Kiss of War, as we are in the official content creation team of Kiss of War. In this video, we have a special topic. Today, we're gonna be talking about Exercise Rhineland. Exercise Rhineland is actually a great way to get valuable rewards and uh, insanely rewards, basically, just by spending your action points in this event, pretty much. So we're gonna be talking about, we're gonna give you some sort of an, uh, an introduction about the event. We're gonna explain uh, exactly what are the rules, uh, what levels of difficulties that this event has, uh, and how you can actually maximize or utilize your usage of action points so that uh, you can get the best value for your action points and help out your guildmates as well. So, starting off with the rules over here, if you click to the right bottom, you can see the event rules. It's actually very important to read those rules because uh, of this event, because your uh, way of playing the event highly depends on these rules. So going for the first point over here, it says before taking part in the exercise, basically you choose your difficulty, A higher difficulty will get you better rewards, and players can choose their difficulty, but you cannot choose it, uh, change it during the events. So this means after you choose your difficulty, it's uh, it doesn't allow you to change it. So make sure you choose the right difficulty for your power level. However, I have to mention one point over here is that if this event has spawned for the first time in your server, it will start with the easy difficulty. And in order to get to a higher difficulty, you would need to finish all the stages in that easy difficulty in order to go to the higher difficulty. And we will go through that in details uh, in, a, in about a minute. Moving on to the next point is basically uh, the maneuvering your troops uh, that you attack in Exercise Rhineland usually can be attacked by players themselves or rallied. So there are two types to actually attack the troops that are spawned. So this event, let's, let's go back a little bit over here, is that this event actually what you do is if you go and click go over here, so as you can see now, you can see the difficulties, the many difficulties. There are five main difficulties, easy, normal, hard, nightmare, and inferno. We are currently at the hard difficulty as this event has spawned three times uh, in our server. This is the third time. Uh, so if we go over here, as you can see, the rewards are actually scaling up as you go through the difficulties. The rewards are actually insanely good as you can get some legendary officer badges, legendary stars, some gold, speed ups, experience, and a lot of resources. So the rewards over here are actually, I think that this event is one of the best events uh, in terms of rewards, because simply all you have to do is use your action points and you're getting a lot of rewards in return. Uh, so let's get back to the rules over here. Um, so basically once you spawn a boss or a target to attack, you can attack it uh, by either soloing the target with one march or rallying the target. You can also ask for help for your, from your guildmates uh, where they can actually uh, rally the target for you or actually help you attack it. Uh, so this way, I wouldn't, because you only get five help tokens, it's very important to know when to use these help tokens so that uh, you don't waste these help tokens in the early game, and then where you actually need them, you won't have them available later on. However, there's a chance to get more than five help, to uh, help tickets is basically by helping your uh, guildmates. So when you see one of your guildmates trying to rally uh, one of these targets, is that if you join the rally, there's a great chance that you would get another uh, uh, help request ticket so that it would increase the amount of help request tickets you can actually use during the, um, during the event. However, it's very important as well to mention is that these help tickets do not accumulate uh, to the next event. So that means if uh, this event spawns like in two weeks or three weeks later, uh, you won't be able to uh, use your help tickets that you accumulated in the last time. And one of the rules that is, uh, one of the things that uh, is mentioned over here in point four is that when you help your teammates defeat uh, these, these targets, 
when you jo when you are joining the rallies, you would get uh, really good rewards, and we will show you some rewards that we got. Uh, the, the rewards are actually insane, even when you are trying to help your guildmates. And when the event ends, uh, the rewards, the system will send you the rewards depending on the highest level uh, of maneuvering troops that you have defeated. So the maneuvering troops are actually uh, 50 levels, so it goes up from level 1 to level 50. As you can see, we have already finished the easy difficulty, the normal difficulty, and now we are going to do the hard difficulty. So in this video, we're going to show you uh, how, we're gonna, how, how it is to spawn a target and attack it. And then we're going to skip forward until we have reached like a high difficulty so that we can show you how these high difficulties in the hard difficulty um, actually what, what units they are using and uh, what buffs do they have and is it actually possible to solo them or do you actually need rallies and your guild help? Pretty, much, pretty straightforward rule at the beginning is that once you click challenge over here the challenge starts and uh, as you can see over there we have a timer and it says that it's in the hard difficulty. So the timer for this event is usually three days. We're actually away. Uh, the first day was almost done uh, today. Uh, we haven't done this event yet, but I'm willing to actually spend some action points because I have a lot of action points accumulated over here from the guild. So I can easily finish this event uh, in one go. My recommendation to you guys, so that you want, uh, you don't use your uh, like all your action points, because what you need to actually do when you challenge uh, one of these uh, one of these levels is that you need to for for spawning them, you need to spend a hundred action points. So, for example, we will spawn right now uh, a level one unit over here. So once you spawn them. If you click on challenge, as you can see, my action points has dropped by 100. And right now, um, th th there are the maneuvering troops. So if you want to attack them, so as you can see, there are three options over here. You either attack them, rally them, or request help. So what we're going to do is actually right now attack them. For officers, I highly recommend using uh, Catherine paired up with Linda. Uh, I think this combination is a very solid combination for attacking neutral units, uh, especially in this event. So we're going to try out and attack these units right now to show you guys, to give you like a sense of how much, uh, of how strong or these units are. Now, my, my Catherine and Linda are a pretty high level at this point in the game. So as you can see, I'm dealing huge amounts of damage with them. Uh... I'm, I'm barely taking damage because, as we said, the, the earlier these levels, like, for example, from level 1 up to level, I would believe, 30, uh, are actually easy to solo. So you should be able to solo levels from 1 to 30. After level 30, you might need, if you are, like, uh, a new player or a player that doesn't really spend a lot in the game or doesn't actually spend a lot of time playing the game, so you might need... Um, to some help from your teammates or either by starting a rally uh, but you have to as well make sure that your hall of four is at a certain level where you can actually uh, beat the uh, beat the target so but what we're looking at is somewhere between the realm of level 11 and level 14 this is basically a good realm for attacking uh, levels between 30 and uh, about 35. from 35 to level 40 the troops, uh, I mean, in the hard difficulty, you would need a higher Hall of War, and from level 40 and above, you might actually need to press the help, or maybe, uh, definitely for level 45 and above, if you are a new player, uh, or you are not that strong, uh, like, you don't have that much military tech researched, or you don't have, you haven't unlocked your forts yet. So as you can see, the, the first level was pretty much straightforward. And once you finish that, you will immediately go to the second level. If we go over here and check the battle, as you can see, this is basically the battle report. They were using about 550k. If we go to the troop boost, uh, they were using infant infantry units. And uh, if we look over here, uh, yes, so basically this is the units that they were using. And uh, if we look at the troop boost, this is basically uh, the troops boost that they have. Currently, we are not using that much uh, infantry. We are, th this march was a full tank march, so that you can see my troop boost, my, my tank march troop boost over here. 
Once you go over here as well, you can uh, start immediately getting the rewards. Uh, because you killed, uh, once you kill a level or once you finish a level, you immediately get the rewards. So if you go to rewards over here, you have from level 1 all the way up to level 50. On your way to level 50, you can actually grab boxes. Those boxes uh, will, uh, will give you as well additional rewards uh, so that you would gain additional rewards in the game. So basically these are the rewards that you get when you finish level 50. If you go to help us over here, uh, you would see your uh, guildmates uh, level, basically. So as you can see, there th these are the levels of my guildmates. So for example, this guy has reached uh, level 50, this old boy guy has reached level 50 on the hard difficulty. That means he finished the this event on the hard difficulty. So basically you can see the progress of your guildmates and uh, all the information about that. So going to the guild, as you can see that over here we are going, uh, there are a couple of rallies going on over here. For example, if we if we see this rally over here, he's trying to rally a level 17 uh, maneuvering troops. Now, for this guy, I wouldn't highly recommend rallying that, uh, uh, like those maneuvering troops, especially because he has tier 4s unlocked and he has really good officers. And you ask why is that? Because simply uh, in the rallies, you're actually spending more action points, like 150 action points to, to initiate a rally, another 100 to actually spawn uh, the target. So this, uh, this all in all uh, is a lot of action points spent uh, where you could have actually done that on higher levels and get actually better rewards for that. So... My advice to you guys is for the low levels, for the lower levels, from level 1 to up to level 30, try to solo these uh, by your own. Because this way you would be uh, saving up action points and uh, utilizing your action points for the end so that you can actually uh, use them when they are needed. Another thing that I would like to mention is that at some point, you might need to attack with two marches and rather than one. So what you can do is actually put out your marches and camp them over here. And uh, you, can, you can simply attack with two marches uh, rather than one. And we, we can actually uh, give you an example right now. I don't want to spend extra action points, but that's fine because it's only 50. And I, want to tr I wanted to actually try something over here uh, while we are at it. So I do believe that if you hold your troops, if you encamp your troops after a battle, you might be able to save uh, some action points. Because as you know, attacking invaders cons uh, like once at a time can actually save you action points uh, up to 40. So you would be spending 40 instead of 50 after five battles versus invaders. So let's try this out over here. So what you do is that you encamp your troops and then we go again and spawn another level of those. And now if we look over here, if we press on attack, it's still the same, it's still 50, but I'm, I, I'm willing to try it again because I still do believe that it might, it might work. Uh, if it doesn't work, then that's fine. However, if it might work, it would be uh, a good way uh, to save up some action points, as, as you can see right now of what we are doing. However, your troops will be uh, losing more health, uh, but if your troops are strong enough, they should be able to hold on uh, in the battlefield. So if we go over here, Ah, uh, no, it's it's actually, it doesn't really matter because it's still 50, so uh, it doesn't really work. Our experiment has failed, uh, but that's fine because now we know that it doesn't accumulate like uh, like it does in, uh, in invaders. One thing important to mention over here is that once you actually spawn a target, uh, it only lasts for two hours. So you have to make sure when you spawn a target that you have either enough action points to take it out or uh, that you are planning to take it out in the next two hours, uh, because otherwise, I think that I think you need to spend another hundred action points to actually uh, spawn it once again. I haven't actually tried that. I don't want to lose one hundred action points, but you guys can actually try that and leave me in the comments below uh, what would happen if uh, if if we wait two hours on that target. 
So now let's take out this target real quick while we give you some extra tips uh, about how to utilize uh, this event and make sure that you are getting the best value uh, out of this event. So at some point you would find it hard to actually solo these um, uh, these these targets over here, the maneuvering troops. So if it's if it if it's getting hard to solo these with one march, what you could do is actually uh, apply an HTM missile over here, which which would give you five percent more attack, which could actually uh, jump on the threshold that you need to defeat that specific maneuvering troop uh, level. Having that said, uh, there's another way to actually gain uh, more uh, extra, like there's a couple of runes over here or badges that you can actually utilize so that uh, it would give you like an extra edge in this event. Uh, some of these badges are actually action point recovery. I can't find uh, a single one over here that uh, that says action point recovery. However, let me look in another city over here, probably near Rome. Oh, yeah, there's a couple over here. Let's see. That's food. That's another one for food. That's repair speed. Yeah, okay, so increases all troops defense. So this one over here is super important and which you can actually grab it in order to have an some extra defense percentage so that you can survive the battle even more. I would highly recommend grabbing those badges because it helps a lot in the long run. Uh, either either that the ones that give you more attack or the ones that give you more defense as this one or even the one that gives you more action points uh, uh, like more action points regeneration so that you can actually regenerate your action points faster. So as you can see, this event is in an action point intensive event. So, so if you're trying to save up your action points for this event, uh, this is actually one of the events that I would highly recommend spending your action points on because it's, um, because the rewards are actually pretty, really uh, like <laughs> extremely good. Right. So, and yeah, before I forget, over here, this is basically one of the uh, one of the rallies that was launched on level seventeen, I do believe, or is that level seventeen? Uh, one sec, yeah, level seventeen maneuvering troops over here, and these are the rewards that I got from it just by participating in that rally. Uh, I got one fifty k food, five hundred k steel, um, this one for experience and some speed ups. Super sweet rewards. And you actually might get better rewards if you if you keep uh, helping out your your guildmates. But about that point is a very important point that I wanted to mention is that when you are trying to join a rally, if you see like rally going with above one million or above seven hundred k, that's basically an overkill that I wouldn't really highly recommend everyone joining those rallies because simply. What you need is to kill those units is about, let's say, 400 to 500k units. Uh, in the hard difficulty, you would need, yeah, probably about that number, maybe 600k. But like more than that is basically an overkill. And what you're doing uh, in that point is spending extra action points to get rewards. Um, however, those action points could be used to help out your other guildmates that actually need uh, help later on in the event. So what I would recommend is um, if you see a rally that is that can easily take out uh, that specific level of maneuvering troops, just do not join it. Wait up for a rally that actually uh, needs your help and needs you to join it so that you can spend your action points and utilize them at best to help out your guildmates and gain more rewards for yourself. Um, so basically this is almost, uh, we have covered a lot of ground so far and let me just, uh, right now I'm gonna fast forward to the point where I get to level 48 so that we can show you guys how this event at the hard difficulty uh, is at level 48. And we're back again. So we now have reached level 48 uh, in this event. And man oh man, was I surprised. We were actually able to solo everything from level 1 to level 47. That's how strong our troops are. And this is this is how strong this combination is. Catherine and Linda actually are T1 
tearing down uh, the damage. So as you can see, I have 156 plus damage versus neutral units because I have them both awakened and I have them both maxed out the jungler tree as well as I have Linda at five stars. So that means she can actually uh, give me uh, or actually um, her talent tree is included uh, in the fight as well. So because she reached five stars. So if you look at this battle, we are easily uh, gonna solo these guys over here. We are butchering uh, uh, like these uh, maneuvering troops right now. And I actually have two things to talk about over here. One thing is that should you or should you not use uh, March capacity or army expansion? Um, my recommendation to you is that if you think that you can save a lot of action points, from applying two marches and only finishing those uh, activities uh, or uh, fights with only one march, then I would recommend using the 25% uh, plus army expansion. However, if you think that that army expansion won't uh, give you a lot of uh, AP value, by that I mean like I thought that I wanted uh, that I thought that at this stage I would need two marches. Um, and that means I would spend 100 uh, AP for each attack, uh, and extra added to the um, 100 AP for spawning them, so that's 200. Um, however, if you think that you can actually, um, like you needed that 25 extra percent uh, to get to some certain level, where you could save up more AP, then I would recommend using that because you can easily get that from the uh, guild store right over here for 90 for 90 gay individual exploits, which is kind of very easy to get uh, at that stage. So right now we have reached the uh, last level. This is level 50 right now. And before we do that, one thing worth mentioning is that I found out uh, a pattern over here with the types of troops that are being used by these maneuvering troops. So if we go over here, and then we go, and this is, by the way, the troop boost they are using. It's currently constant throughout the whole uh, the whole event, as I have seen. And if you look over here, they are using right now infantry, and this is 40, 49. So in my, the pattern that I've noticed is that each five, uh, each five levels, the unit troop, the, the, the type of troops is changed. So as you can see from level 45 to level 50 is infantry. If you go to level 44, you would find that they are using anti-tanks over here. So this actually tells you that um, it is very easy to know the pattern. So if they're using anti-tanks over here, then they should be using tanks over here. And as you can see, they are using tanks over here. So this pattern tells you that you can easily counter those uh, those troops by going by count by attacking them with a counter uh, type. So, for example, they are now using infantry over here, and what I should do is attack by full tanks, which is um, what I'm currently doing. And this is why I'm actually inflicting extra damage on these guys, especially adding to the fact that I have my uh, Linda trained at 15, so she can actually deal 8.5 or actually be more more effective against uh, infantry units. As you can see over here, we are dealing massive damage right now to these troops, and this is the last level. So let's watch the battle till the end, and then we will show you what happens next. And this way we, would, we were able to solo all the way from level one to level 50 on the hard difficulty. Uh, this was Exercise Rhineland right now, and this is it, my friends, the victory. As you can see over here, we have, uh, we have, it says over here that challenge complete, we have finished everything, and now we should be able to grab all the sweets reward, all the sweet rewards over here. I already grabbed a couple of rewards from level, let me see. Yeah, I already grabbed up to level seven. Now let's grab everything else. Read and claim all. Oh yeah, the sweet rewards over here. This is incredible. So can you see <laughs> this event gives you a lot of rewards and it's super like it's great, right? It's great for the amount of action points you spend actually over the course of three days. We have finished this event right now pretty early. So what we can do right now is help our allies that are trying to uh, progress throughout the levels. So as you can see over here, there's a couple of them. Um, so if we go out and help, as we said that, so these rallies are overclear. So 
joining the shadow would be 100% overkill. So I would prefer actually helping this guy out so that uh, because his rally only has his troops at the moment and me being in his rally would significantly help him out. So as I said, always utilize your action points. And uh, this is basically, this was exercise Rhineland for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of content, please make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And see you on the next one. Bye-bye.